Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Listen to the dialogue. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier parkeringsplass. Once more with the English translation. Hvordan sier man dette? How do you say this? Man sier parkeringsplass. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, How do you say this? That's Hvordan sier man dette? Listen to it again. Hvordan sier man dette? Hvordan sier man dette? This Norwegian sentence literally translates into How does one say this? But it means How do you say this in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Man sier Word this Norwegian sentence literally translates into one says word, but it means it's word in English. For example, it's parking lot. Man sier parkeringsplass. Man sier parkeringsplass. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Parkeringsplass. Parkeringsplass. Giraffe. 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 Travel. Reise. Reise. Invasion. 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 Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier giraff. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier reise. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier invasjon. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Hvordan sier man dette? Imagine it's the word giraffe. Do you remember how to say giraffe? Giraffe. Giraffe. Say, it's giraffe. Man sier giraffe. Now answer the question saying, it's giraffe. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier giraffe. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Reise. Reise. Say, it's travel. Man sier reise. Now, answer the question saying it's travel. Hvordan sier man dette? Man sier reise. Now imagine the word is invasion. Do you remember how to say invasion? Invasion. Invasion. Say, it's invasion. Man sier invasion. Now answer the question saying it's invasion. Hvordan sier man dette?
man sier invasjon. Hallo? 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 Hallo, jeg heter Espen. Hallo, my name is Espen. Hallo, jeg heter Espen. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Excuse me for being late. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager, han er ikke her akkurat nå. I'm sorry, he's not here right now. Jeg beklager, han er ikke her akkurat nå. God natt. Good night. God natt. God natt. Good night. God natt og tusen takk. Good night and thank you very much. God natt og tusen takk. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. My name is Peter. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hvordan går det? How are you? Hvordan går det? Hvordan går det? How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Good morning. How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Går det? Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Yes, what do you need help with? Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Nei. No. Nei. Nei. No. Det er ikke mulig, nei. It is not possible, no. Det er ikke mulig, nei. Takk. Thank you. Takk. Takk. Thank you. Takk for hjelpen. Thank you for your help. Takk for hjelpen. Jeg er... I'm 
Jeg er... Jeg er... I'm... Jeg er Jon. I'm John. Jeg er Jon. Ha det bra! Goodbye! Ha det bra! Ha det bra! Goodbye! Ha det bra! Ses igjen! Goodbye! See you again! Ha det bra! Ses igjen! Dårlig. Bad. Dårlig. Dårlig. Bad. Dårlig dag. Bad day. Dårlig dag. God. Good. God. God. Good. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Vegetables are good for you. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Pen. Pretty. Pen. Pen. Pretty. Du er veldig pen. You are very pretty. Du er veldig pen. Stygg. Ugly. Stygg. Stygg. Ugly. Det er en veldig stygg hund. That is a very ugly dog. Det er en veldig stygg hund. Lett. Easy. Lett. Lett. Easy. Det er lett å forstå. It is easy to understand. Det er lett å forstå. Vanskelig. Difficult. Vanskelig. Vanskelig. Difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. English is difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. Nær. Near. Nær. Nær. Near. Jeg bor nær universitetet. I live near the university. Jeg bor nær universitetet. Langt. Far. Langt. Langt. Far. Stasjonen er langt herfra. The station is far from here. Stasjonen er langt herfra. Liten. 
smal, liten, liten, smal. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. First is i dag. Today. I dag. I dag. Today. I dag klokka 6.15. Today at 6.15. I dag klokka seks fem ten. I går. Yesterday. I går. I går. Yesterday. Jeg tok meg fri i går. I took a day off yesterday. Jeg tok meg fri i går. I morgen. Tomorrow. I morgen. I morgen. Tomorrow. Det skal bli sol i morgen. It will be sunny tomorrow. Det skal bli sol i morgen. Uke. Week. Uke. Uke. Week. Det er syv dager i en uke. There are seven days in a week. Det er syv dager i en uke. År. Year. År. År. Year. Et kalenderår. One calendar year. Et kalenderår. Sekund. 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 I ti sekunder. For ten seconds. I ti Sekunder. Minutt. 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 Det er ett minutt til midnatt. It's one minute to midnight. Det er ett minutt til midnatt. Natt. Time. Hour. Time. Time. Hour. Jeg kommer hjem fra jobben om en time. I'll be home from work in an hour. Jeg kommer hjem fra jobben om en time. Klokke. Klokk. Klokke. Klokke. Klokk. Veggklokken henger på veggen. 
The wall clock is hanging on the wall. Regg klokken hänger på vänken. Klokken. A clock. Klokken. Klokken. A clock. Klokken er åtte. It's eight o'clock. Klokken er åtte. Kalender. 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 Jeg har markert bryllupsdagen vår på kalenderen. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Jeg har markert bryllupsdagen vår på kalenderen. Monday. 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 Mandag. Monday. Arbeidsuken begynner på mandag. The work week starts on Monday. Arbeidsuken begynner på mandag. Tirsdag. Tuesday. Tirsdag. Tirsdag. Tuesday. Første januar er på en tirsdag i år. January 1st falls on a Tuesday this year. Første januar er på en tirsdag i år. Onsdag. Wednesday. Onsdag. Onsdag. Wednesday. På onsdagskveldene spiller vi poker hjemme hos meg. Wednesday nights we play poker at my house. På onsdagskveldene spiller vi poker hjemme hos meg. Torsdag. Thursday. Torsdag. Torsdag. Thursday. På torsdag. On Thursday. På torsdag. Fredag. Friday. Fredag. Fredag. Friday. Fredag 8. december. Friday, December 8. Fredag 8. december. Lørdag. Saturday. Lørdag. Lørdag. Saturday. Ingen planer på lørdag. No plans for Saturday. Ingen planer på lørdag. Sunday. 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 
Sunday är fars dag. Sunday is Father's Day. Sunday är fars dag. Göra. Do. Göra. Göra. Du. Och göra allt. To do it all. Och göra allt. Gå. Go. Gå. Gå. Go. Gå rätt fram. Go straight ahead. Gå rätt fram. Okay, let's get started. First is le. Laugh. Le. Le. Laugh. Le av ett bilde. Laugh at a picture. Le av ett bilde. Deilig. Delicious. Deilig. Deilig. Delicious. Det ser deilig ut. It looks delicious. Det ser deilig ut. Vann. Water. Vann. Vann. Water. Glass med vann. Glass of water. Glass med vann. Te. 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 Kvinnen drikker te. The woman is drinking tea. Kvinnen drikker te. Kaffe. Kaffi. Kaffe. Kaffe. Kaffi. Kaffekanna er full av kaffe. The coffee pot is full of coffee. Kaffekanna er full av kaffe. Øl. Beer. Øl. Øl. Beer. Bartenderen heller et glass med fatøl. The bartender is pouring a draft beer. Bartenderen heller et glass med fatøl. Vin. Wine. Vin. Vin. Wine. Man drikker rødvin med kjøtt og hvitvin med fisk. You drink red wine with meat and white wine with fish. Man drikker rødvin med kjøtt og hvitvin med fisk. Storfekjøtt. Beef. 
storfeshet storfeshet beef storfeshet är huvudrätten beef for the main course Storfeskjøtt er hovedretten. Skilling. Chicken. Skilling. Skilling. Chicken. Jeg liker ikke skillingskinn. I don't like chicken skin. Jeg liker ikke skyllingskinn. Svinekjøtt. Pork. Svinekjøtt. Svinekjøtt. Pork. Svinekjøtt er kjøttet fra en gris. Pork is the meat from a pig. Svinekjøtt er kjøttet fra en gris. Fisk. 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 Japanere spiser mye fisk. Japanese people eat a lot of fish. Japanere spiser mye fisk. Lam. 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 Lam er veldig godt. Lam is extremely delicious. Lam er veldig godt. Lege. Doktor. Lege. Lege. Doktor. Legen undersøker foten. The doctor is examining the foot. Legen undersøker foten. Politimann. Police officer. Politimann. Politimann. Police officer. Politimann i uniform. Police officer in uniform. Politimann i uniform. Lærer. Teacher. Lærer. Lærer. Teacher. Engelsk lærer. English teacher. Engelsk lærer. Ansatt. Employee. Ansatt. Ansatt. Employee. Ansatt fordeler. Employee benefits. Ansatt fordeler. Bevege seg mot. Kom. Bevege seg mot. Bevege seg mot. Kom. 
bevege seg mot et videokamera. Come towards a video camera. Bevege seg mot et videokamera. Se. Si. Se. Se. Si. Jeg skal se et teaterstykke på søndag. I'll see a play on Sunday. Jeg skal se et teaterstykke på søndag. Lage. Make. Lage. Lage. Make. Kokken lager middag. The chef makes dinner. Kokken lager middag. Bruke. Use. Bruke. Bruke. Use. Jeg bruker en datamaskin på jobb. I use a computer for work. Jeg bruker en datamaskin på jobb. Ok, let's get started. First is kunne. Can. Kunne. Kunne. Can. Kan hoppe over. Can jump over. Kan hoppe over. Null. Zero. Null. Null. Zero. Det er omtrent null grader i dag. It's about zero degrees today. Det er omtrent null grader i dag. En. One. En. En. One. En grad. One degree. En grad. Two. 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 Number two is favorite number of mine. The number two is my favorite number. Number two. Er favoritt nummeret mitt. Tre. 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 Den første gruppen kom på buss nummer tre. The first group arrived on bus number three. Den første gruppen kom på buss 
Nummer tre. Fire. Four. Fire. Fire. Four. Nummer fire. Number four. Nummer fire. Fem. Five. Fem. Fem. Five. Sjøstjernen har fem ben. The starfish has five legs. Sjøstjernen har fem ben. Seks. 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 Har dere et bord for sex? Do you have a table for sex? Har dere et bord for sex? Syv. Seven. Syv. Syv. Seven. Det er syv dager i hver uke. There are seven days in every week. Det er syv dager i hver uke. Åtte. Eight. Åtte. Åtte. Eight. Klokken er åtte. It's eight o'clock. Klokken er åtte. Ni. Nein. Ni. Ni. Nein. Nitti ni prosent. Ninety nine prosent. Nitti ni prosent. Ti. Ten. Ti. Ti. Ten. Jeg kan telle fra en til ti på kinesisk. I can count from one to ten in Chinese. Jeg kan telle fra en til ti på kinesisk. Selger. Salesman. Selger. Selger. Salesman. Selleren hilser på en kunde. The salesman is greeting a customer. Selleren hilser på en kunde. Daglig leder. Manager. Daglig leder. Daglig leder. Manager. Den daglige lederen tar en pause ved bordet. The manager takes a break at the desk. 
Den daglige lederen tar en pause ved bordet. Kokk. 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 Sjefskokk. Head cook. Chef's cook. Engineer. 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 En flink ingeniør kan designe og bygge systemer. A good engineer can design and build systems. En flink ingeniør kan designe og bygge systemer. Programmerer. Programmer. Programmerer. Programmerer. Programmer. Dataprogrammerer. Computer programmer. Dataprogrammerer. Sykepleier. Nurse. Sykepleier. Sykepleier. Nurse. Kvinnen er en sykepleier. The woman is a nurse. Kvinnen er en sykepleier. Pleier. Kropp. Body. Kropp. Kropp. Body. Kropp og sjel. Body and soul. Kropp og sjel. Hode. Head. Hode. Hode. Head. Bruk hjelm for å beskytte hodet ditt. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Bruk hjelm for å beskytte hodet ditt. Ok, let's get started. First is hånd. Hand. Hånd. Hånd. Hand. Venstre hånd. Left hand. Venstre hånd. Arm. 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 Muskuløs arm. Muscular arm. Muskuløs arm. Fot. 
fot 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 En fot har fem tær. A foot has five toes. En fot har fem tær. Ben. Legg. Ben. Ben. Legg. Lange ben. Long legs. Lange ben. Finger. 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 Fingeren er trykket mot glasset. The finger is pressed against the glass. Fingeren er trykket mot glasset. Rygg. Back. Rygg. Rygg. Back. Ryggen til pinsvinne er dekket med spisse tagger. A hedgehog's back is covered in sharp spines. Ryggen til pinsvinne er dekket med spisse tagger. Mage. Stomach. Mage. Mage. Stomach. Jeg har mageknip. I have a stomach ache. Jeg har mageknip. Brystkasse. Chest. Brystkasse. Brystkasse. Chest. Renken av en brystkasse. X-ray of a chest. Renken av en brystkasse. Januar. January. Januar. Januar. January. Tirsdag, 1. januar. Tuesday, January 1st. Tirsdag, 1. januar. Februar. February. Februar. Februar. February. Februar er den korteste måneden med 28 dager. February is the shortest month with 28 days. Februar er den korteste måneden med 28 dager. Mars. March. Mars. Mars. 
March. Nå er det april, så forrige måned var mars. It is now April, so last month was March. Nå er det april, så forrige måned var mars. April. 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 Regn i april gir blomster i mai. April showers bring May flowers. Regn i april gir blomster i mai. 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 May. 31. mai er verdens røykfrie dag. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. 31. mai er verdens røykfrie dag. Juni. June. Juni. Juni. June. Vi skal gifte oss i juni. We are getting married in June. Vi skal gifte oss i juni. Juli. July. Juli. Juli. July. Juli måned. Month of July. Juli måned. August. 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 Skolen er stengt i august. The school is closed in August. Skolen er stengt i august. September. 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 I dag er det lørdag 10. september. Today is Saturday, September 10th. I dag er det lørdag 10. september. Oktober. 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 Julebrus blir bare solgt fra oktober til slutten av desember. Christmas soda is only sold from oktober to the end of december. Julebrus blir bare solgt fra oktober til Slutten av desember. November. 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 
November. November. Thanksgiving, Thursday, 24 November. Thanksgiving, Thursday, November 24th. Thanksgiving, Thursday, 24 November. December. 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 25 December. December 25th. 25 December. The secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language. But how do you speak more when you're just starting out, when you can't yet create sentences off the top of your head? Here are some tips. Let's jump into part one, how to prepare ahead of time to speak more. So what's the secret to speaking more of your target language? It's something called preparation. And believe it or not, you've likely used it if you've ever had to give a speech or a presentation. So what do we mean by preparation? Imagine that you have to go open a bank account in the language that you're learning. How would you do it? You can go in there, grunt, and use body language, or you can first come up with a list of words and phrases you need to know before you go, like debit card, bank account, I want to open a bank account, and minimum balance. You may want to look up the grammar rules for how to say, I want to. Once you know these words and phrases, you translate them into your target language and you go over to the bank to open an account. Or let's say you're meeting a person for the first time. What are some things you'd say to them? Things like, what's your name? My name is, where are you from? I am from, and so on. So you prepare a list of words and phrases, all the things you'd wanna say in that situation. You translate them ahead of time so that you can communicate effectively. That's preparation. And preparation works because most conversations are predictable to a degree. For example, most conversations with friends start with greetings and catching up on how you've been. And if you know the lines for greetings, catching up, and talking about your weekend, then you can easily handle such a conversation. The point is, the more you prepare, the more you learn to speak without needing a teacher. So how do you prepare? Part two, how to speak more through preparation. Here are some tips. If you're using our learning program, one, take our audio and video lessons. You'll find these in our lesson library and just focus on the conversational lessons. Lessons are just three to 15 minutes in length and in the first minute, you'll hear a practical conversation. For example, meeting someone new, catching up with a friend or ordering at a restaurant. Then our teachers break down and explain every word and grammar rule. So you can learn these lines and conversations ahead of time. Number two, download the audio dialogue track. This gives you just the conversation. So when you finish a lesson, download it for easy review. Then make a playlist out of all of them and play the conversations on repeat. This will make them much easier to remember. Number three, save the lesson notes. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can read the lesson dialogue, the grammar explanations, and cultural insights for every lesson. Download and keep the notes for conversations you think are useful. For example, if you want to talk about the weather and you took a lesson on that, then download the lesson notes for that lesson. Now, if you're looking to prepare ahead of time for specific topics, then do this next one. Number four, use our free PDF conversation cheat sheets. These conversation cheat sheets teach you words and phrases for all kinds of common conversation topics, like weather, hobbies, family, plans, and much more. You can prepare for the most common conversations with these cheat sheets. If you want to access our free conversation cheat sheets, leave a comment down below and we'll give you the link. Number five, look up lesson topics in our lesson library. If you want to open a bank account or eat at a certain restaurant and you don't know how to talk about these topics, find a lesson about it in our lesson library. Number six, 
If you're a Premium Plus user, simply ask your teacher to point you to lessons for certain topics, or even better, ask them for potential lines, and you can even practice speaking. Just record yourself, send it in, and your teacher will provide you feedback on what to say and how. Number seven, do it the old school way. Sit down, think of a topic you wanna to talk about. Make a list of all the words you think you need, all the phrases you wanna say or may hear in that conversation. Then, translate those words and phrases into your target language. So let's recap. Most conversations are predictable. You can prepare ahead of time by thinking of all the words and lines you'll need for various conversations. And you can prepare with, one, our audio and video lessons, two, conversation tracks, three, lesson notes, four, free PDF cheat sheets, five, by looking up specific topics in the lesson library, six, asking your Premium Plus teacher, and seven, by manually coming up with a list of the words and phrases and translating them. Learning to carry a conversation is vital to mastery of any language. Even beginners can quickly learn conversational language well enough to carry on real conversations with native speakers. Of course, beginners won't be able to carry a conversation the same way they could in their native language. But just knowing a few tips, like which questions to ask to keep a conversation going, are all you need to speak and interact with real native speakers. Before we get to specific suggestions, let's first take a closer look at how having real conversations in your target language is so vital to your mastery of the language. Communicating with other people is the very point of language, and conversation comes easily in our native tongue. For beginners, or anyone learning a new language, conversations aren't easy at all, and even simple greetings can be intimidating and awkward. Nothing kills a conversation faster than long periods of awkward silence, so you need practice and specific strategies to avoid them. When you know what to say to keep a conversation going, communication becomes much easier and you make a better impression on your listener. Nothing will help you learn to speak a language faster and truly master the language than having real conversations with native speakers. Conversations quickly expose you to slang, cultural expressions, and vocabulary that force you to absorb and assimilate information faster than any educational setting. And that's a great thing. But how can you possibly have real conversations with real people if you're just starting out? Here are three proven methods that even beginners can quickly use to learn conversational language to make a great impression and avoid awkward silences. First, ask questions to keep a conversation going. For beginners and even more advanced speakers, the key is to ask questions to keep a conversation going. Of course, they can't be just random questions or else you may confuse the listener. But by memorizing a few key questions and the appropriate time to use them, you can easily carry a conversation with minimal vocabulary or experience. And remember, the more conversations you have, the quicker you will learn and master the language. Second, learn core vocabulary terms as quickly as possible. You don't need to memorize thousands of words to learn conversational language. In fact, with just a couple hundred words, you could have a very basic conversation. And by learning maybe 1,000 to 2,000 words, you could carry a conversation with a native speaker about current events, order in restaurants, and even get directions. To help you get started with this, check out our 2,000 common words, also known as our core list. These 2,000 words are all you need to learn to speak fluently and carry a conversation with a native speaker. Third, study video or audio lessons that you can play and replay again and again. If you want to know how to carry on a conversation, then you need exposure to native speakers, and the more, the better. Studying video or audio lessons is ideal because they provide contextualized learning in your native language, and you can play them again and again until you achieve mastery. Our instructors have created more than 2,500 video and audio lessons that you can play over and over. And the best part is, they don't just teach you vocabulary and grammar. They are designed to help you learn to speak and teach you practical everyday topics like shopping, ordering, and more. Although it may seem intimidating for a beginner, the truth is that it's very easy to learn conversational language. Just learn a few core vocabulary terms and which questions to ask to keep a conversation going. Our language learning program has the world's largest online collection of video and audio lessons by real instructors. Plus, tons of advanced tools to help you learn to speak and carry on a conversation quickly. 
Just a little practice and exposure to real conversations or lessons is all it really takes. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned, but where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. For even more tips on how to start conversations, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want to have access to tons of language lessons, but you don't want to have to buy more textbooks? In this video, you'll learn six ways you can get language lessons for free. This video will cover ways to get our audio and video lessons on a regular basis, so you can work on improving your language skills. You can use these anywhere, anytime. All right, let's take a look at how to get access. First, right on our website. New lessons come out every single week, Mondays, Tuesdays, and video lessons on Fridays. Access them all in the Lessons drop-down menu on the site. Click on Newest Lessons. If you're on the go, you're going to work, driving, or running errands, you can easily learn with your mobile device. And that brings us to our next tip. Second, get lessons on the Innovative Language app. If you're an iPhone, iPad, or Android user, learn on the go with the Innovative Language 101 app. Download it for free. After you download the app, you can keep up with all the latest lessons. There is a newest lessons icon right on the home screen, and it gives you instant access to your free lessons anywhere, anytime. Just look for Innovative Language 101 on the App Store or Google Play. The third way is the Apple TV app. You can learn on the big screen. Turn on your TV and access all of your audio and video lessons. You can learn at home, keep the lessons playing, and immerse yourself all day long with the Innovative Language 101 app. Look for it on the Apple TV App Store. Now, this one is useful for only Apple TV subscribers, but if you're not an Apple TV subscriber, don't worry. The fourth way, get lessons with our iTunes feed. iTunes can download your lessons automatically and have them saved forever. You get every single lesson as it comes out. You'll never miss one. They're saved in your iTunes. Simply search for us on iTunes and subscribe. Fifth is the Daily Dose of Language app. This is for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. With this, you get bite-sized lessons sent to your device every day. 
Each day, you get a notification that your daily dose of language is here. Doing the lesson takes just a minute. These aren't our full-sized audio and video lessons, but these one-minute lessons will help you build a habit of learning daily. Find the Daily Dose of Language app on the App Store or Google Play. The sixth way is with our brand new Alexa skill. If you own an Amazon Echo, Dot, or Show, or are planning to get one, you'll want the Daily Dose by Innovative Language. Find it in the Amazon Skill Store. With it, you get new audio lessons and vocab lessons every day across all 34 languages. If you're ready to start learning a new language, these six tips can help you get started learning with our language learning program. Just pick which way works best for you and get started learning today. There are so many ways to start learning for free. Just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! How to improve your language and speak more through preparation. Okay, let's get into part one. Why you should prepare for conversations ahead of time. If you're a beginner, you can probably relate to this. When it comes to speaking, you tend to run out of things to say. And that's because you don't know enough of the language to express yourself. And that's where preparation comes in. You may think that the conversations we have in our daily lives are spontaneous, that you can't prepare for them. You're right to an extent. But imagine meeting someone for the first time. Both of you will go through some common questions and phrases like, what's your name? My name is, where are you from? And how long have you been studying the language? As a language learner, you'll have these kinds of conversations with almost every native you meet, guaranteed. They'll always ask you about how long and how you've been learning. And even with your friends, some conversations start the same way. For example, you say things like, hey, how are you? How are things? How was your weekend? My weekend was good, and you? Let's say you went to a restaurant this weekend, and now you want to talk about it. Well, that allows you to prepare and learn some phrases, like, I went to a restaurant. The restaurant had delicious food. The point is, some questions and phrases come up often in conversations, so it makes total sense to master them ahead of time. And you can always plan ahead and prepare for things you want to talk about. When it comes time to speak, you know what to say, how to respond, and you don't run out of talking points as quickly. So, how do you prepare? Let's jump into part two. The first thing you can do to prepare is check out our 25 questions you need to know lesson series. This series is specifically designed to help you with the first time conversations you'll have with native speakers. You'll learn the 25 most common questions and answers used in conversations. Just listen to the lessons, repeat out loud, then put what you learned to use. These will serve as talking points so you can keep your conversations going. Number two, print out the curriculum for this lesson series so you can review all of the lessons at once. The curriculum gives you the lines and vocabulary used in all lessons up front, so you can use this to review key questions and responses. This will allow you to control conversations and ask questions instead of just having the native speaker ask you all the questions. In other words, you'll sound like a fluid, confident, and experienced speaker. Number three, check out our printable conversation cheat sheets. This is another free resource that gives you lines and words for all kinds of topics. For example, talking about hobbies, your family, and much more. Number four, ask yourself, what do you want to talk about? Come up with some topics, and for each topic, write out potential questions and phrases that would come up in a conversation. For example, if you want to talk about restaurants, you can have lines like, my favorite restaurant is, my favorite food is, what's your favorite restaurant? and then run these lines through a translation app. It won't be perfect, but it'll give you lines to use that you can correct later. Number five, look for lessons that are related to your topics with our lesson library. On our site, we have hundreds of lessons that teach you conversations. So if you're looking for lessons related to restaurants and food, you'll get all kinds of conversations that you can use for yourself. And number six, if you're a Premium Plus user, get in touch with your teacher via My Teacher and try a conversation with them. They'll help you every step of the way, correct your writing, and give you the lines to use in a conversation. That way, you can prepare ahead of time, and when it comes time to speak, you'll know what to say.
So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. If you're like most language learners, then your number one goal is to speak more, right? You want to have fluent conversations with natives. It's a great goal to have. But for most language learners, speaking also happens to be their weakest skill. You may not know enough of the language to express yourself. You tend to run out of words and things to say. And you're just not sure how to start conversation. If you have at least one of these issues, then talking points are just what you need. Part one, what's a talking point? A talking point is a topic that invites discussion or argument. In other words, just something to talk about. It could be about yourself, your work, your hobbies, the weather, food, or what you did this past weekend. All of these are talking points. Here's an example to help you better understand talking points. Think of a conversation you'd have with a friend. You can ask, what did you do this weekend? They'll reply and then ask you back. The talking point here is the weekend. Let's say your friend says they went to a restaurant. That's a natural talking point to explore next. You can ask, what kind of restaurants do you like? Now you've covered two talking points. The more talking points you have, the more you can speak. And the same goes for your target language. The only challenge is you need to know the relevant words and phrases for that topic. For example, if you wanna talk about the weekend, you need to know phrases and questions like, what did you do this weekend? I did this. What about you? In the next part, you'll discover five easy talking points that you can master with our learning program. Let's get into part two. Part two, five talking points you can use. The first one is, learn how to introduce yourself in your target language. Why is this a powerful talking point? Introducing yourself is something you'll do again and again, every time you meet someone new. So learning the relevant phrases is a must. If you've done the first few lessons on our site, you can already do this. If not, then check out our absolute beginner lessons and the top 25 questions you must know lessons. You'll learn basic conversations with our quick three to 15 minute lessons. We'll give you the exact lines to use, along with the translations, so that you can use them in conversations. You can also use this talking point to continue a conversation. For example, if you've started with a different point, like the weather, then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is... Talking point number two, the weather. This is a universal talking point. People like to talk or complain about the weather all over the world. In fact, just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation with a native speaker. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our can-do lesson pathway called Can Talk About Weather. You'll find this pathway in the absolute beginner level of our lesson library. Talking point number three, compliments. Compliments are another great way to start a conversation or continue one. If you're running out of things to say, you can quickly transition and say something about their city, their country, or just, hey, I like your shirt. If you want to learn how to compliment, check out our compliments phrase list. This list is free to access for all users. If you don't know where to find it on our site, leave a comment in the comments below and we'll follow up. Point number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions or about the price and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. If you want to strike up a quick dialogue, this is a great talking point to use. Point number five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel, shopping, ordering food, or telling the taxi driver where to go. You may think that this isn't much of a talking point, but for the learners that are shy about talking to random native speakers for no reason, this is an easy way to start a dialogue. You have a good excuse. You wanna buy something, so the staff will be happy to respond. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Okay, let's move on to our last part. Part three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to get our collection of conversation cheat sheets for free. With these cheat sheets, you'll be able to talk about all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, dating, family, weather, and much more, which means you can master a lot of talking points and speak more of your target language. If you'd like to get these cheat sheets, please leave us a comment in the comment section. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Top 25 phrases in Norwegian. Let's get started. Hello. 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 Actually, in Norwegian, the word for hello is so similar that even I mess it up. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 
Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, this is basically almost the same. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Time for bed. Vad heter du? What's your name? Vad heter du? What's your name? Uh, actually, this means something like, what are you called? Jag heter Annette. I'm Annette. Jag heter Annette. My name is Annette. Or literally, I'm called Annette. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. A very useful phrase when you meet somebody for the first time. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Maybe if you haven't seen somebody for a long time, you can use this phrase. Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? You could make this phrase even shorter and say bra, takk. Med deg? Vær så snill. Please. Vær så snill. Please. Yeah, this is a very useful phrase you can use in almost any situation if there's anything you want. Tack. Thank you. Tack. Thank you. We also have the phrase uh, tusen tack, which literally means a uh, thousand thanks, if you want to be more polite. Varsågod. You're welcome. Varsågod. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Nej. No. Nej. No. Greit. Okay. Greit. Okay. Actually, you can just say okay as well, as it's very commonly used in Norwegian too. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld is a very useful phrase. Uh, when you want to say sorry, you can also say unnskyld. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Or you can say unnskyld. Hva er klokka? What time is it? Hva er klokka? What time is it? Uh, actually, hva er klokka literally means what is the clock? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Unfortunately, those bills aren't gonna pay themselves, you know. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Øyeblikk actually means I blink. So wait just a blink of an eye. Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Well, yeah, as we all know, Norway is a really expensive country, so you're gonna need a lot of money traveling there. Hjelp. Help. Hjelp. Help. Easy to remember, almost the same. Se deg senere. See you later. Se deg senere. See you later. You can also say, vi ses senere. We'll see each other later. Farvel. Goodbye. Farvel. Goodbye. Actually, this is kind of a heavy phrase. Uh, it's like farewell in English. And uh, it's usually used if uh, you're saying goodbye to somebody you're not going to see in a very long time. Uh, so usually we would just say, ha det bra. Ha det bra uh, literally means have it well. So it just means, it just means uh, stay well. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. Nothing to do with that. 10 questions you should know in Norwegian. So let's get started. Hva heter du? What's your name? Hva heter du? What's your name? Jeg heter Annette. My name is Annette. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Jeg har det bra. I'm good. Hvor er du fra? Where are you from? Hvor er du fra? Where are you from? Jeg er fra Oslo. I'm from Oslo. Når er bursdagen din? When is your birthday? Når er bursdagen din? When is your birthday? Bursdagen min er 7. januar. My birthday is the 20th of January. Actually, my birthday is in December, so December. 
Var bor du? Where do you live? Var bor du? Where do you live? Jeg bor i Bergen. I live in Bergen. Bergen is a nice city. If you live there, you're lucky. Var jobber du? Where do you work? Var jobber du? Where do you work? Jeg jobber i kommunen. I work at the municipality. Hva er telefonnummeret ditt? What's your phone number? Hva er telefonnummeret ditt? What's your phone number? Mitt telefonnummer er 90 45 40 50. My telephone number is 90 45 40 50. Now, of course, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna give up my number. <laughs> Hvor lærte du norsk? Where did you learn Norwegian? Hvor lærte du norsk? Where did you learn Norwegian? Jeg lærte norsk gjennom en nettside. I learned Norwegian through a website. NorwegianClass101.com Liker du norsk mat? Do you like Norwegian food? Liker du norsk mat? Do you like Norwegian food? Ja, jeg elsker norsk mat. Yes, I love Norwegian food. Especially salmon. Salmon is delicious. Har du vært i Norge? Have you been to Norway? Har du vært i Norge? Have you been to Norway? Ja, jeg har vært i Norge tre ganger. I have been to Norway three times. Top 10 compliments you always want to hear. That's awesome. Let's get started. Du er kjekk. You're handsome. Du er kjekk. You're handsome. As you might have guessed, this is not a compliment you'd like to give to a girl. Uh, this is exclusively for guys. Du er smart. You're smart. Du er smart. You're smart. I know. Thank you. Du er en fantastisk venn. You are an awesome friend. Du er en fantastisk venn. You are an awesome friend. And to your best friend, you can say, Du er min beste venn. You are my best friend. CV'en din er imponerende. Your resume is impressive. CV'en din er imponerende. Your resume is impressive. Yeah, this is definitely a compliment I would like to hear all the time. Den jakken ser fin ut på deg. That jacket looks nice on you. Den jakken ser fin ut på deg. That jacket looks nice on you. Did you buy it in Norway? Du har god smak. You have good taste. Du har god smak. You have good taste. Just like in English, smak can also be used about actual taste of, for instance, food. So when you want to say that something tastes good, you can say det smaker godt. It tastes good. Smilet ditt er vakkert. Your smile is beautiful. Smilet ditt er vakkert. Your smile is beautiful. Such a happy word to know. Du ser praktfull ut. You look gorgeous. Du ser praktfull ut. You look gorgeous. This is quite a dramatic statement. Uh, you could, for instance, just say, Du ser flott ut. You're looking great. Den kjolen kler deg veldig godt. That dress really suits you. Den kjolen kler deg godt. That dress really suits you. Just a fun fact. Um, the word dress means suit in Norway. So don't mix up dress and kjole. Du er verdens beste kjæreste. You are the best boyfriend, girlfriend in the whole world. Du er verdens beste kjæreste. You are the best boyfriend or girlfriend in the whole world. 
the word kjæreste is a very typical Norwegian word, and it actually means dearest. So this is gender neutral. You can use it for both a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's pretty practical, isn't it? Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. Hi everybody, this is Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Today we're gonna look at must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing in Norwegian. So let's get started. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. I couldn't agree with you more. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. I couldn't agree with you more. Vel, jeg er ikke sikker. Well, I'm not sure. Vel, jeg er ikke sikker. Vel, Jeg er ikke sikker. Well, I'm not sure. Selvfølgelig. Of course. Selvfølgelig. Of course. 
This literally means self-followingly. So yeah, of course. Selvfølgelig. Jeg antar det. I guess so. Jeg antar det. I guess so. Jeg antar han snakker sant. I guess he's telling the truth. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. I was just going to say that. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. I was just going to say that. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. Isn't it annoying when you have something clever you want to say and then somebody snatches that ID right in front of you? Ja, du har rett. Yes, you're right. Ja, du har rett. Yes, you're right. Ja, du har rett. Ja, du har rett. It is not easy to admit it when you're the one at fault, but sometimes you gotta say, you're right. Du tar feil. You're wrong. Du tar feil. You're wrong. Du tar feil. This literally means you take wrong. This might be a bit direct if you're talking to your colleagues or your boss, but it's quite commonly used among friends or family. And sometimes it's, it kind of gives you a good feeling when you can point out that somebody else is wrong, right? It's like, du tar feil. <laughs> You're wrong. Jeg tar aldri feil. I'm never wrong. Jeg tror ikke det. I don't think so. Jeg tror ikke det. I don't think so. Jeg tror ikke det. Kanskje. Maybe. Kanskje. Maybe. Kanskje literally means can happen. So if it can happen, then maybe. If you're a very non-confrontational person, you might want to use this phrase often. Maybe. Kanskje. Det er sant. That's true. Det er sant. That's true. Det er sant. Det er sant. Det er sant at du må studere mye hvis du vil bli flytende i norsk. It is true that you have to study a lot if you want to become fluent in Norwegian. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. You've been watching Must Know Expressions for Agreeing and Disagreeing in Norwegian. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more. See you again next week. Vi ses neste uke. Ha det bra. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express train. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. 
Vogn 1, Rad 8, CTC. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, Passing train. Passerende tog. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Utgang mot øst. Er kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel? Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Er kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel? Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. En mann og en kvinne ser på en meny på en restaurant. Hva skal mannen bestille? Hva skal du bestille? Pizzaen ser deilig ut. Jeg tror jeg tar den. Jeg hadde pizza i går, så... Ok da. Hva med hamburgeren? Høres bra ut. Jeg tar den. Hva skal mannen bestille? En mann og en kvinne ser på en meny på en restaurant. Hva skal mannen bestille? Hva skal du bestille? Pizzaen ser deilig ut. Jeg tror jeg tar den. 
jag hade pizza igår så Ok då. Vad med hamburgern? Hörs bra ut. Jag tar den. En man ringer legekontoret. När man vara på legekontoret? Hej. Hur kan jag hjälpa dig? När stänger det idag? Vi stänger klockan sex, men vänlig kom för halv sex. Okej, okay, tack ska du ha. När må han vara på legekontoret? En man ringer legekontoret. När må han vara på legekontoret? Hej. Hur kan jag hjälpa dig? När stänger det idag? Vi stänger klockan sex, men vänlig kom för halv sex. Okej, okay, tack ska du ha. En gutt läser från dagboken sin. Vad var den första tingen gutten gjorde idag? Väret var bra idag. Jag svämte i svemmahall om eftermiddagen och jag gick på kino om kvällen. Jag studerade hela morgonen också. Idag var inte så värst. Vad var den första tingen gutten gjorde idag? En gutt läser från dagboken sin. Vad var den första tingen gutten gjorde idag? Väret var bra idag. Jag svämte i svemmahall om eftermiddagen och jag gick på kino om kvällen. Jag studerade hela morgonen också. Idag var inte så värst. En kvinna och en man ser på ett bilde. Vilket bilde ser de på? Detta är er ett bild av fotbollslaget sönden din är er på, inte sant? Vem är er sönden din? Han här. Åh, han är er den högste. Jep, han är er till och med högre än mig. Vilket bild ser du på? En kvinna och en man ser på ett bild. Vilket bild ser du på? Detta är er ett bild av fotbollslaget sönden din är er på, inte sant? Vem är er sönden din? Han här. Åh, han är er den högste. Jep, han är er till och med högre än mig. Jag heter Nora. Hyggligt att möta dig. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Norwegian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes Three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Norwegian. You only need to know two sentences. Let's see how Norwegian people introduce themselves. Hi, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hi, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Start by saying, Hi, jag heter. Then say your name. Hi, jag heter Nora. Finally, say, Hyggelig och möte dig. Hi, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig och möte dig. And now, let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallo, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig. Hello, my name is Nora. Nice to meet you. Hallo, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hi has been substituted with an alternative greeting, Hallo, Norwegian for hello. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it's better to just use your first name when being introduced to new friends. Hyggelig å møte deg has been shortened to just hyggelig. When meeting someone in a formal context, 
for instance at work, hyggeli å møte deg will be the most appropriate greeting. When being introduced to new friends, hyggeli will do. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Norwegian is Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Norway. While hyggelig å møte deg is slightly more formal than just hyggelig, you don't need to worry too much about which one you use. If you use one of these sentences with Norwegian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Are dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Tack. Tack. Tack means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add tusen at the beginning. Tusen tack. Tusen tack. Tusen means thousand. So tusen tack is like saying a thousand thanks. During the last lesson, we didn't really mention anything about formality in speech in Norwegian. However, there are some subtle differences in how you will be perceived by others. Tak is a casual way to thank someone. Tusen tak expresses more gratitude and is thus more formal. A longer and more formal phrase which expresses a lot of gratitude would be Tusen tak. So hyggelig av deg. Here we have just added so hyggelig av deg, which means how nice of you. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. But how do you answer these expressions of gratitude? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is velbekomme. Velbekomme. Velbekomme literally means you are welcome. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression bare hyggelig. Bare hyggelig. Literally, this phrase means it's my pleasure or with pleasure, but it is the most common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone is saying tak to you, you can simply reply with Velbekomme or bare hyggeli. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use tak or tusen tak, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Tak can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In the last lesson, we learn how to be grateful to people by saying tak. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. The most used informal greeting is hei. Hei. Hei means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. It isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hello, hello, which means hello. And more time specific greetings like good dog, good dog. Literally, good dog means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use good dog only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say God kveld, God kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening. So, God kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings, we say God morgen, God 
more, which means good morning. Gudag, gukfel, and gumorn are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say hadebra, hadebra. Hadebra means be well, but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian, we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses. Ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply see you soon, we say ses. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Norwegian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Norwegian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the most common way to say it. Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Norwegian is a pretty straightforward language. We conjugate verbs based on time, which means we have past, present, and infinitive. The question, snakker du engelsk, translates as, are you speaking English? The verb snakker, to speak, is in the present tense. The second word in the sentence, du, simply means you. And you probably recognize engelsk to be English. Snakker du engelsk? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like snakker, please check out our Absolute Beginner series on NorwegianClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. Like English, there are many ways to ask this question. Let's look at another one, also pretty similar to English. Kan du snakke engelsk? It's literally the equivalent of can you speak English? Kan du snakke engelsk? Adding inchil, excuse me, to the sentence would make it inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? Inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes. Ja. Litt, a little. Litt. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. No, I can't speak English. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say ikke before the verb snakke. Notice also that the verb snakke is slightly different than snakker. Remember, the verb changes depending on the time it is in. We are now talking about the infinitive, since it is coupled with kan, which means can. Now it's time for Nora's insights. For those of you who don't just speak English, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Norwegian people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute engelsk with italiensk for Italian, fransk for French, spansk for Spanish, tysk for German. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word Inchil, which means excuse me in Norwegian. 
In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use inshil and other words when apologizing in Norwegian. We should use inshil in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, inshil and kaffe tak. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Inshil, hvor er fangene parken? Excuse me, where is the Vigeland Park? Sometimes we also hear people say beklager, which means the same thing when you want to apologize for a mistake. Beklager. Another common way to say excuse me is inshil. Inshil. Just like beklager, we can use inshil when apologizing for a mistake. You can also hear some Norwegians say sorry which is a long word from English. It's often used as a quick apology amongst friends. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a longer phrase. That phrase is Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. It means excuse me, I am really sorry. And can be used in both formal and informal situations. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. First, we have the familiar unnskyld. Next, we insert the pronoun for I, jeg. Then, er, which means am. Um. This is followed by virkelig, which means really. Finally, we have the phrase lei for det, meaning sorry about it. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. Now it's time for Nora's insights. In Norway, if you accidentally bump into someone, you might not get any response. But to be polite, we either say unnskyld or beklager. It is also common to use the exclamation "o" oh, before apologizing. "O, oh, beklager." When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. So let's get started. Har du lyst til å gå ut og spise middag med mig? Har du lyst til å gå ut og spise middag med mig? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Har du lyst til å gå ut og spise middag med mig? 
Would you like to go out to dinner with me? In Norway, it's quite common to eat dinner at home. So you might instead get invited to go home to somebody for dinner. So don't get surprised if somebody asks you home for dinner. Är du ledig i helgen? Är du ledig i helgen? Are you free this weekend? Är du ledig i helgen? Are you free this weekend? Norwegians usually have quite a lot of spare time, so they like to ask, um, not that specifically, it's not like, are you free on Saturday? It's like, are you free this weekend? Then it gives the uh, person more time to think about like when they would be available to hang out. So this can be used with both uh, friends or for dates as well. Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Would you like to hang out with me? Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Would you like to hang out with me? This again you can use with uh, friends or somebody you're more interested in. Um, in Norway we don't have a very clear point in time where people stop being friends and begin being in a relationship. So these kind of vague phrases is very common. Du er så søt. Du er så søt. You're so cute. Du er så søt. You are so cute. This is maybe a phrase that guys would say to girls rather than the other way around. But on the other hand, um, it's not that common to call girls cute in Norway. Um, maybe you would uh, go for something else like cool, kul, or um, pen, pretty. Du er pen. You are pretty. Du er kul. You are cool. Du ser bra ut. Du ser bra ut. You look great. Du ser bra ut. You look great. Yeah, this is a very useful phrase. Uh, you can use it both with friends or your special one. And this can be used both to your female friends and your male friends. Det var en flott kveld. Det var en flott kveld. That was a great evening. Det var en flott kveld. That was a great evening. Uh, this is also a phrase you can use very easily with friends or, yeah, anybody you had a good time with. Jeg ringer dig. Jeg ringer dig. I'll call you. Jeg ringer dig. I'll call you. Well, in some cases, if it hadn't been such a great evening, this might be an excuse to never talk again. So just be aware of that. If the night was uh, successful, I think most people would probably ask uh, when they would be able to meet again, like, oh, this has been a really nice evening. Do you want to hang out again next week or something? But I'll call you. Um, maybe he won't. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. I'll drive you home. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. I'll drive you home. In Norway, taxis are quite expensive, so if you found somebody who is willing to drive you home, then you're lucky. Um, if it's a good person, of course. Når skal vi møtes i morgen? Når skal vi møtes i morgen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? Når skal vi møtes i morgen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? 
as you might know, uh, Norway has very short work hours. So even during the weekdays, it is easy to meet up after work. And since it's uh, during the summer, it's usually light outside until very late. So uh, you might want to go out in the nature, maybe do some barbecue or something. Anything is possible. Can we meet again? Can we meet again? Can I see you again? Can we meet this again? Can I see you again? Well, if somebody asks you this question, then you've probably made a good impression. Good job. And phrases to amaze a native speaker. Let's get started. Tack, men norsk är faktiskt inte mitt morsmål. Thank you, but Norwegian is actually not my native tongue. Tack, men norsk är faktiskt inte mitt morsmål. Thank you, but Norwegian is actually not my native tongue. In recent years, there's actually a lot of uh, people who have uh, different ethnical backgrounds, but who has been adopted. So even though people don't look Norwegian, they might actually be at a native level uh, talking about the language. So never judge a book by its cover. Det tog mig bara ett år för att bli flytande. It took me only one year to become fluent. Det tog mig bara ett år att bli flytande. It took me only one year to become fluent. Especially if you know uh, English or German or any other uh, Western European language, then you're going to find Norwegian quite easy to learn. Jag vill snacka norsk som en norrman innan tre år. I want to speak Norwegian like a native in three years. Jag vill snacka norsk som en norrman innan tre år. I want to speak Norwegian like a native in three years. You can do it. You can practice your Norwegian with us here at NorwegianClass101.com. Jag har lärt norsk i ti år. I've been learning Norwegian for 10 years. Jag har lärt norsk i ti år. I've been learning Norwegian for 10 years. Well, yeah, if you study Norwegian for 10 years, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be very good. Jag kan se norske filmer utan undertexter. I can watch Norwegian movies without subtitles. Jag kan se norske filmer utan undertexter. I can watch Norwegian movies without subtitles. As you know, Norway is a very small country, so we don't produce that many movies. But there are some good ones out there, like uh, Kontiki, for instance, was uh, nominated for Oscar a couple of years ago. And recent days, uh, you have the Norwegian drama Skam, which is very popular, which I really recommend you guys to check out. Jag kan huska runt 50 nya norska ord om dagen. I can memorize around 50 new Norwegian words a day. Jag kan huska runt 50 nya norska ord om dagen. I can memorize around 50 new Norwegian words a day. Well, 50 words is quite impressive. If you can memorize 50 words a day, you're gonna be at native level in no time. Go for it. Bortsett fra å kunne norsk, kan jeg også snakke noen andre språk. Apart from knowing Norwegian, I can speak a few other languages as well. Bortsett fra å kunne norsk, kan jeg også snakke noen andre språk. Apart from knowing Norwegian, I can speak a few other languages as well. Did you know that Norwegian and Swedish and Danish are really, really similar? So just by learning Norwegian, you can actually learn three languages at once. That's pretty cool, right? Jeg forstod alt du sa. I completely understood everything you said. Jeg forstod alt du sa. I completely understood everything you said. 
Great, that means your Norwegian is improving, right? Keep it up. Jeg leser ofte norsk skjønnlitteratur. I often read Norwegian fiction. Jeg leser ofte norsk skjønnlitteratur. I often read Norwegian fiction. In the Scandinavian countries, we have a genre called krim, uh, which is about kind of detective mystery novels that are really, really popular. You can check out, for instance, Vargveum. He's a detective from my hometown. You can also check out Jon Nesbø, who's a very famous Norwegian writer, and his book uh, The Snowman, Snømannen, is gonna be made into a movie, actually. So, yeah, you should definitely check that one out. Jeg studerer norsk på universitetet. I study Norwegian at the university. Jeg studerer norsk på universitetet. I study Norwegian at the university. In Norway, uh, we don't really judge people based on which university they study at. We judge based on which major people choose. So you can actually get into, uh, for instance, um, Universitetet i Oslo, the university in Oslo, without having good grades if you choose an unpopular major. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Arrive. Ankomme. Ankomme. Ask. Spørre. Spørre. Bathe. Bade. Bade. Become. Pli. Pli. Begin. Å begynne. Å begynne. To believe. Tro. Tro. Break. Brekke. Brekke. Brush. Pusse. Pusse. Buy. Köpe. Köpe. Call. Ringe. Ringe. Can. Kunne. Kunne. Clean. Orenjöre. Orenjöre. Close. Lucke. Lucke. Come. Komme. Komme. Cook. Olage. Olage. Correct. Rette. Rette. Cry. Gråte. Gråte. Cut. Kjære. Kjære. Dance. Danse. Danse. Do. Gjøre. Gjøre. Draw. Tegne. Tegne. Dream. Å drømme. Å drømme. Drink. Drikke. Drikke. Eat. Spise. Spise. Enter. Komme inn. 
Komma in. Erase. Viska ut. Viska ut. Exercise. Träna. Träna. Exist. Existera. Existera. Explain. Förklara. Förklara. Feel. Föla. Föla. Finish. Be färdig. Be färdig. Forget. Glemme. Glemme. Freeze. Frise. Frise. Get up. Komme seg opp. Komme seg opp. Go. Gå. Gå. Hear. Høre. Høre. Help. Hjelpe. Hjelpe. Hold. Holde. Holde. Hug. Klemme. Klemme. Laugh. Le. Le. Learn. Lære. Lære. Leave. Forlate. Forlate. To like. 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 Listen. Høre. Høre. Live. Bo. Bo. Look. Se. Se. Love. Elske. Elske. Make. Lage. Lage. Memorize. Lære uten at. Lære uten at. Miss. Bomme. Bomme. Need. Trenge. Trenge. Open. Åpne. Åpne. Pay. Betale. Betale. Pick up. Ta. Ta. Prepare. Å forberede. Å forberede. Pull. Dra. Dra. Push. Trykke. Trykke. Rain. Å regne. Å regne. Read. Lese. Lese. Remember. Huske. Huske. Rent. Leie. Leie. Repeat. Repetere. Repetere. Resemble. 
Lingne. Lingne. Respect. Respektere. Respektere. Rest. Hvile. Hvile. Return. Returnere. Returnere. Ride. Sitta. Sitta. Say. Si. Si. Search. Se etter. Se etter. Si. Se. Se. Sell. Selle. Selle. Send. Å sende. Å sende. Serve. Servere. Servere. Shop. Shopping. Shopping. Sightsee. Dra på rundtur. Dra på rundtur. Sing. Synge. Synge. Sleep. Sove. Sove. Speak. Tale. Tale. Stand. Stå. Stå. Stay. Å bli. Å bli. Study. Studere. Studere. Sweat. Svette. Svette. Take. Tå. Tå. Talk. Snakke. Snakke. Teach. Undervise. Undervise. Text. Texte. Texte. Thank. Å takke. Å takke. To think. Tenke. Tenke. Travel. Å reise. Å reise. Turn off. Skru av. Skru av. Turn on. Skru på. Skru på. To understand. Forstå. Forstå. Use. Bruke. Bruke. Wait. Vente. Vente. Wake up. Våkne. Våkne. Walk. Gå. Gå. Want. Ville ha. Ville ha. Watch. Se. Se. Wipes. Tørk av. Tørk av. Work. Jobbe. Jobbe. Write. Skrive. Skrive. Skrive.
In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 core Norwegian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hallo? Hello? Hallo? Hallo? Hello. Hallo, jeg heter Espen. Hello, my name is Espen. Hallo, jeg heter Espen. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Excuse me for being late. Unnskyld meg for at jeg er sen. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Han er ikke her akkurat nå. I'm sorry. He's not here right now. Jeg beklager. Han er ikke her akkurat nå. God natt. Good night. God natt. God natt. Good night. God natt og tusen takk. Good night and thank you very much. God natt og tusen takk. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. My name is Peter. Nice to meet you. Mitt navn er Peter. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hvordan går det? How are you? Hvordan går det? Hvordan går det? How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Good morning. How are you? God morgen. Hvordan går det? Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Yes, what do you need help with? Ja, hva trenger du hjelp til? Nei. No. Nei. 
Nein. No. Det er ikke mulig, nei. It is not possible, no. Det er ikke mulig, nei. Takk. Thank you. Takk. Takk. Thank you. Takk for hjelpen. Thank you for your help. Takk for hjelpen. Jeg er... I'm... Jeg er... Jeg er... I'm... Jeg er Jon. I'm John. Jeg er Jon. Ha det bra! Goodbye! Ha det bra! Ha det bra! Goodbye! Ha det bra! Ses igjen! Goodbye! See you again! Ha det bra! Ses igjen! Dårlig! Bad! Dårlig! Dårlig! Bad! Dårlig dag. Bad day. Dårlig dag. God. Good. God. God. Good. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Vegetables are good for you. Grønnsaker er godt for deg. Pen. Pretty. Pen. Pen. Pretty. Du er veldig pen. You are very pretty. Du er veldig pen. Stygg. Ugly. Stygg. Stygg. Ugly. Det er en veldig stygg hund. That is a very ugly dog. Det er en veldig stygg hund. Lett. Easy. Lett. Lett. Easy. Det er lett å forstå. It is easy to understand. Det er lett å forstå. Vanskelig. Difficult. Vanskelig. Vanskelig. Difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. English is difficult. Engelsk er vanskelig. Nær. Near. 
Nej. Nej. Near. Jeg bor nær universitetet. I live near the university. Jeg bor nær universitetet. Langt. Far. Langt. Langt. Far. Stasjonen er langt herfra. The station is far from here. Stasjonen er langt herfra. Liten. Smal. Liten. Liten. Smal. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Bilen er liten, men veldig kraftig. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at NorwegianClass101.com. See you next time. Farvel! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Norwegian. Hi everybody, my name is Annette. Welcome to the 800 core Norwegian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at NorwegianClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Norwegian! Okay, let's get started! First is... I dag. Today. I dag. I dag. Today. I dag klokka 6.15. Today at 6.15. I dag klokka 6.15. I går. Yesterday. I går. I går. Yesterday. Jeg tok meg fri i går. I took a day off yesterday. Jeg tok meg fri i går. I morgen. Tomorrow. I morgen. I morgen. Tomorrow. Det skal bli sol i morgen. It will be sunny tomorrow. Det skal bli sol i morgen. Uke. Week. Uke. Uke. Week. Det er syv dager i en uke. There are seven days in a week. 
Det er syv dager i en uke. År. Year. År. År. Year. Et kalenderår. One calendar year. Et kalenderår. Sekund. Second. Sekund. Sekund. Second. I ti sekunder. For ten seconds. I ti sekunder. Minutt. 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 Det er ett minutt til midnatt. It's one minute to midnight. Det er ett minutt til midnatt. Time. Hour. Time. Time. Hour. Jeg kommer hjem fra jobben om en time. I'll be home from work in an hour. Jeg kommer hjem fra jobben om en time. Klokke. 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 Veggklokken henger på veggen. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. Veggklokken henger på veggen. Klokken. A clock. Klokken. Klokken. A clock. Klokken er åtte. It's eight o'clock. Klokken er åtte. Kalender. 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 Jeg har markert bryllupsdagen vår på kalenderen. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Jeg har markert bryllupsdagen vår på kalenderen. Monday. 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 Mandag. Monday. Arbeidsuken begynner på mandag. The work week starts on Monday. Arbeidsuken begynner på mandag. Tirsdag. Tuesday. Tirsdag. Tirsdag. Tuesday. Første januar er på en tirsdag i år. January 1st falls on a Tuesday this year. Første januar er på en tirsdag i år. Onsdag. 
Wednesday. Onsdag. Onsdag. Wednesday. På onsdagskveldene spiller vi poker hjemme hos meg. Wednesday nights we play poker at my house. På onsdagskveldene spiller vi poker hjemme hos meg. Torsdag. Thursday. Torsdag. Torsdag. Thursday. På torsdag. On Thursday. På torsdag. Fredag. Friday. Fredag. Fredag. Friday. Fredag 8. desember. Friday, December 8. Fredag 8. desember. Lørdag. Saturday. Lørdag. Lørdag. Saturday. Ingen planer på lørdag. No plans for Saturday. Ingen planer på lørdag. Søndag. Sunday. Søndag. Søndag. Sunday. Sunday er fars dag. Sunday is Father's Day. Sunday er fars dag. Gjøre. Do. Gjøre. Gjøre. Do. Å gjøre alt. To do it all. Å gjøre alt. Gå. Go. Gå. Gå. Go. Gå rett frem. Go straight ahead. Gå rett frem. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Norwegian. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry. We can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at NorwegianClass101.com. See you next time. Farewell. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. A table for five. Et bord for fem. Et bord for fem. Absolutely. Absolut. Absolut. All right. Great. Great. Are you all right? Går det bra med deg? Går det bra med deg?
Are you on Facebook? Är du på Facebook? Är du på Facebook? Awesome. Kämpebra. Kämpebra. Bye. Ha det. Ha det. Bye bye. Ha det. Ha det. Can I borrow this? Kan jag låna denna? Kan jag låna denna? Can I have a bag please? Kan jag få en bag tack? Kan jag få en bag tack? Can I have a receipt please? Kan jag få en kvittering tack? Kan jag få en kvittering tack? Can I sit here? Kan jag sitta här? Kan jag sitta här? Can I try it on? Kan jag pröva den på? Kan jag pröva den på? Can you download this file? Kan du ladda ner den filen? Kan du ladda ner den filen? Check. 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 Congratulations. Gratulerer. Gratulerer. Could I have your attention, please? Kan jeg få oppmerksomheten din, takk? Kan jeg få oppmerksomheten din, takk? Delicious. Deilig. Deilig. Do you need anything? Trenger du noe? Trenger du noe? Do you speak English? Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Do you understand? Forstår du? Forstår du? Does this bus go to? Går denne bussen til? Går denne bussen til? Don't do it. Ikke gjør det. Ikke gjør det. Don't mention it. Ingen årsak. Ingen årsak. Don't worry. Ikke bekymre deg. Ikke bekymre deg. Everything is great. Alt er flott. Alt er flott. Excuse me, do you know where the is? Unnskyld, vet du hvor er? Unnskyld, vet du hvor er? Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Unnskyld meg. Go straight ahead. Gå rett frem. Gå rett frem. Good afternoon. God ettermiddag. God ettermiddag. Good evening. God kveld. God kveld. Good morning. God morgen. God morgen. Good night. Godnatt. Godnatt. Goodbye. Farvel. Farvel. Happy birthday. Gratulerer med dagen. Gratulerer med dagen. Hello. Hallo. Hallo. Help. Hjelp. Hjelp. 
Hi. 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 Hold on. Venligst vent. Venligst vent. How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? Hvordan går det med deg? How do I get to the... Hvordan kommer jeg til... Hvordan kommer jeg til... How do you do? Hvordan går det? Hvordan går det? How do you pronounce this? Hvordan uttaler du dette? Hvordan uttaler du dette? How have you been? Hvordan har du hatt det? Hvordan har du hatt det? How is it? Hvordan er det? Hvordan er det? How is your mother? Hvordan går det med moren din? Hvordan går det med moren din? How long will you stay? Hvor lenge blir du? Hvor lenge blir du? How many people are there in your family? Hvor mange mennesker er det i din familie? Hvor mange mennesker er det i din familie? How much is it to... Hvor mye koster det å... Hvor mye koster det å... How much is this? Hvor mye er dette? Hvor mye er dette? How much? Hvor mye? Hvor mye? How old are you? Hvor gammel er du? Hvor gammel er du? How is your day? Hvordan var dagen din? Hvordan var dagen din? How's the weather? Hvordan er været? Hvordan er været? Hurry up. Skynd deg. Skynd deg. I don't like it. Jeg liker det ikke. Jeg liker det ikke. I don't understand. Jeg forstår ikke. Jeg forstår ikke. I like it. Jeg liker det. Jeg liker det. I live in. Jeg bor i. Jeg bor i. I lost my phone. Jeg mistet telefonen min. Jeg mistet telefonen min. I need. Jeg trenger. Jeg trenger. I need to go to the. Jeg må dra til. Jeg må dra til. I understand. Jeg forstår. Jeg forstår. I'd like this. Jeg tar dette. Jeg tar dette. I'll have this. Jeg tar dette. Jeg tar dette. I'll have time next week. Jeg har tid neste uke. Jeg har tid neste uke. I'm. Jeg er. Jeg er. I'm allergic to shrimp. Jeg er allergisk mot reker. Jeg er allergisk mot reker. I'm at home. Jeg er hjemme. Jeg er hjemme. 
I'm busy this week. Jeg er opptatt denne uken. Jeg er opptatt denne uken. I'm fine. Jeg har det bra. Jeg har det bra. I'm from. Jeg er fra. Jeg er fra. I'm full. Jeg er mett. Jeg er mett. I'm good. Det går bra. Det går bra. I'm hungry. Jeg er sulten. Jeg er sulten. I'm looking forward to working with you. Jeg gleder meg til å jobbe med deg. Jeg gleder meg til å jobbe med deg. I'm sorry I'm late. Jeg beklager at jeg er sen. Jeg beklager at jeg er sen. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. Is that it? Er det alt? Er det alt? Is that far from here? Er langt herfra? Er langt herfra? Is there a near here? Er det en nær her? Er det en nær her? It was nice to meet you. Det var hyggelig å møte deg. Det var hyggelig å møte deg. It's difficult. Det er vanskelig. Det er vanskelig. It's okay. Det er greit. Det er greit. It's really good. Det er veldig bra. Det er veldig bra. It's sunny. Det er solerikt. Det er solerikt. It's true. Det er sant. Det er sant. I've heard a lot about you. Jeg har hørt mye om deg. Jeg har hørt mye om deg. Just a minute, please. Bare et minutt, takk. Bare et minutt, takk. Long time no see. Lenge siden sist. Lenge siden sist. Make yourself at home. Gjør deg selv komfortabel. Gjør deg selv komfortabel. May I help you? Kan jeg hjelpe deg? Kan jeg hjelpe deg? May I sit here? Kan jeg sitte her? Kan jeg sitte her? My mother is well. Min mor har det bra. Min mor har det bra. My name is. Jeg heter. Jeg heter. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hyggelig å møte deg. No problem. Ikke noe problem. Ikke noe problem. No. Nei. Nei. Of course not. Selvfølgelig ikke. Selvfølgelig ikke. Of course. Selvfølgelig. Selvfølgelig. Once again, please. En gang til, vær så snill. 
En gång till var så snill. Please forgive me. Vänligst tillge mig. Vänligst tillge mig. Please have a seat. Vänligst sätt dig. Vänligst sätt dig. Please write it down. Skriv detta ned. Skriv detta ned. Please. Var så snäll. Var så snäll. Really? Är det sant? Är det sant? Same for me. Samma för mig. Samma för mig. Shut up. Håll käft. Håll käft. Slower, please. Saktere, var så snill. Saktere, var så snill. So, what's new? Så var nytt. Så var nytt. Sorry to keep you waiting. Beklage forsinkelsen. Beklage forsinkelsen. Sounds great. Høres flott ut. Høres flott ut. Stop here, please. Stopp här är du snill. Stopp här är du snill. Thank you very much. Tusen tack. Tusen tack. Thank you. Tack. Tack. Thanks. Tack. Tack. That jacket looks nice on you. Den jackan ser fin ut på dig. Den jackan ser fin ut på dig. This is for you. Detta är till dig. Detta är till dig. This weekend I'm going to the movies. Denna helgen ska jag på kino. Denna helgen ska jag på kino. Welcome. Välkommen. Välkommen. We're meeting someone. Vi ska möta någon. Vi ska möta någon. What are you doing here? Vad gör du här? Vad gör du här? What are you doing this weekend? Vad gör dere denna helgen? Vad gör dere denna helgen? What are you doing? Vad gör du? Vad gör du? What do you do? Vad driver du med? Vad driver du med? What do you feel like eating? Vad har du lust på? Vad har du lust på? What do you recommend? Vad anbefaler du? Vad anbefaler du? What do you want? Vad vill du? Vad vill du? What happened? Vad skedde? Vad skedde? What time does it open? Når öppnar det? Når öppnar det? What time is it? Var mig är klocka? Var mig är klocka? What would you like to drink? Vad önskar du att dricka? Vad önskar du att dricka? What's for dinner? 
Hva er det til middag? Hva er det til middag? What's the next stop? Hva er neste stopp? Hva er neste stopp? What's the temperature? Hva er temperaturen? Hva er temperaturen? What's this? Hva er dette? Hva er dette? What's wrong? Hva er galt? Hva er galt? What's your favorite website? Hva er favorittnettstedet ditt? Hva er favorittnettstedet ditt? What's your name? Hva heter du? Hva heter du? When is your birthday? Hvor er bursdagen din? Hvor er bursdagen din? When will the plane leave? Når går flyet? Når går flyet? Where are we going? Hvor skal vi? Hvor skal vi? Where are you from? Hvor er du fra? Hvor er du fra? Where do you live? Hvor bor du? Hvor bor du? Where do you work? Hvor jobber du? Hvor jobber du? Where is it? Hvor er det? Hvor er det? Where is the? Hvor er? Hvor er? Where is the bathroom? Hvor er badet? Hvor er badet? Who is it? Hvem er det? Hvem er det? Who's going? Hvem skal? Hvem skal? Who's there? Hvem er der? Hvem er der? Why are you late? Hvorfor er du sen? Hvorfor er du sen? Yes, I do. Ja, det gjør jeg. Ja, det gjør jeg. Yes. Ja. Ja. You have good taste. Du har god smak. Du har god smak. You look gorgeous. Du ser praktfull ut. Du ser praktfull ut. Your smile is beautiful. Smilet ditt er vakkert. Smilet ditt er vakkert. You're handsome. Du er kjekk. Du er kjekk. You're smart. Du er smart. Du er smart. You're welcome. Vær så god. Vær så god. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Adult. Voksen. Voksen. Airplane. Fly. Fly. Arm. 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 Baby. 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 Back. Rig. Rig. Bathroom. 
bad bad bed seng seng bedroom sovrum sovrum beef stor fäskött stor fäskött beer öl öl bicycle cykel cykel boat båt båt body kropp kropp book bok bok boy gutt gutt boyfriend kärste kärste bread bröd bröd bus buss buss calendar kalender kalender car bil bil cell phone mobiltelefon mobiltelefon chest bristkasse bristkasse chicken kylling kylling child barn barn clock klocka klocka clothing klär klär cloud she she coffee kaffe kaffe computer datamaskin datamaskin cook kock kock credit card kreditkort kreditkort cup 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 daughter datter datter debit card bankkort bankkort doctor läge läge dress skola skola employee ansatt ansatt engineer ingenjör ingenjör father far far finger 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 fish fisk fisk food mat mat foot 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 friend then then fruit frukt 
Frukt. Girl. Jente. Jente. Girlfriend. Kärste. Kärste. Hand. Hon. Hon. Head. Hode. Hode. Helicopter. 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 Hotel. 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 Hour. Time. Time. Husband. Man. Man. Ice. Is. Is. Jacket. Jacke. Jacke. Kitchen. Chicken. Chicken. Lamb. Lam. Lam. Leg. Ben. Ben. Man. 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 Manager. Daglige leder. Daglige leder. Minutes. Minut. Minut. Morning. Morn. Morn. Mother. Mor. Mor. Motorcycle. Motorcykel. Motorcykel. Nurse. Sykepleier. Sykepleier. Pants. Bukse. Bukse. Pencil. Blyant. Blyant. Plate. Tallerken. Tallerken. Police officer. Politiman. Politiman. Pork. Svinekött. Svinekött. Programmer. Programmerer. Programmerer. Rain. 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 Salesperson. Seller. Seller. Salt. 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 Second. 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 Shirt. Blouse. Shorte. Shorte. Shoe. Sko. Sko. Snow. 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 Sock. 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 Sofa. 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 Sun. 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 Stomach. Mage. Mage. Store. Butik. Butik. Sugar. 
Socker. Socker. Sun. Sol. Sol. Taxi. Drosje. Drosje. Tea. Te. Te. Teacher. Lærer. Lærer. Television. TV. TV. Today. I dag. I dag. Tomorrow. I morgen. I morgen. Train. Tog. Tog. Vegetable. Grönsak. Grönsak. Water. Vann. Vann. Week. Uke. Uke. Wife. Kone. Kone. Wine. Vin. Vin. Woman. Kvinne. Kvinne. Year. Or. Or. Yesterday. I går. I går. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today, we're going to look at the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Norwegian. Let's start. Brød. Bread. Brød. Bread. Kneipere er veldig vanlig i Norge. Kneip bread is very common in Norway. Actually, if you mistake the pronunciation of brød and say blø, it means bleed, so be careful. Engelsk. English. Engelsk. English. Alle bør lære seg engelsk for å kommunisere med andre. Everybody should learn English to communicate with others. Svensk, dansk, tysk, finsk. You can see that all the Norwegian language words actually ends in SK. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Jeg bruker aldri hårføner til å tørke håret mitt. I never use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Actually, I'm kind of lazy myself, so often I don't use a hair dryer. I just uh, let it dry naturally. Um, yeah. Skole. Dress. Skole. Dress. Denne skolen er veldig fin. This dress is really nice. One thing you have to be careful about in Norwegian is that uh, the word dress, if you say dress, it actually means suit. So don't mix them up. Kjøtt. Meat. Kjøtt. Meat. Jeg spiser ikke kjøtt. I don't eat meat. Well, you know, everybody say that it's good for the environment uh, not to eat meat. Um, and I wish I had enough willpower to become a vegetarian, but not yet. Maybe in the future? Who knows? Nishari. Curious. Nishari. Curious. Hunden er veldig nishari på hva katten gjør. The dog is very curious about what the cat is doing. I used to have a dog, and my dog didn't care about cats at all. I think cats and dogs are usually not really good friends, uh, but sometimes uh, they just ignore each other, I guess. Öl. Beer. Öl. Beer. 
En kall øl er veldig passende i sommerværet. A cold beer suits the summer weather well. So I think some of you might have problems pronouncing ø. Uh, it kind of sounds like somebody hits you in the stomach. You go like ø. Yeah, if you get hit in the stomach, maybe you would want to have a cold beer afterwards to cool off. Recently, you know, it's getting so popular with microbreweries. I think they have a lot of good beer, uh, like the, all the locally produced beers especially. I like to try different types of beer when I go for uh, trips and so on. Smer, butter. Smer, butter. Kan du smøre smør på brødskiven? Can you put butter on the slice of bread? In Norway, uh, we usually have a lot of bread, brød, for breakfast, and then we usually would have smør as one of the common things to put on the bread, along with other, um, what we call pålegg, which is uh, literally put on. So it's anything you put on the bread is called pålegg. Rådyr, rådyr. 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 Det er vanlig å se rådyr om vinteren. It is common to see rådyr in the winter. Det var en gang en rådyr som ble skutt, og så ble den rådyr. So the word rådyr can have two meanings in Norwegian. The first one, as you just heard, is rådyr, and the other meaning is crazily expensive. Uh, so the example sentence I just gave you means um, there was a roe deer that got uh, shot and got e crazily expensive. Bro, bridge. Bro, bridge. Den broen var veldig flott. That bridge was very nice. So, as you probably understood, this is about bro, bridge, not as in bro, yo bro. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Which word did you find the most difficult? Please uh, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more details. Thank you, bye bye, ha det bra. Hi, everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, what is the difference between den and de? When you translate den or de into English, they both translate as it or that. So how do you know when to use which one? A simple way to remember how to use them is that you use den for masculine and feminine nouns, and de for neuter nouns. Let's go over some examples so you can learn how to use den and de correctly. Let's say you're in a store and you want to ask how much a dress costs. In this case, you'll have to use den since dress, kjole, is a masculine noun. So, hva koster den? Means, how much is it? So what if you want to point out that the dress is expensive? Instead of saying skjolen er dyr, meaning the dress is expensive, you could use den er dyr, meaning it is expensive. The same goes for jacket, jakke, which is a feminine noun. Here too, you would say hva koster den, meaning how much is it? If you want to say the jacket is cheap, jakken er billig, you would say den er billig, meaning it is cheap instead. However, if you want to know the price of a table, bui, you have to use de because bui is a neuter noun. Then you get hva koster det, which also means how much is it? So what if you think the table is a little bit too low? Instead of saying bure er litt lavt, meaning the table is a little bit low, you can say det er litt lavt, meaning it is a little bit low. That's it for this lesson. I hope I answered your question. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Hade, vi ses snart.
Bye, see you soon. Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're gonna look at 10 words you never wanna hear. So let's get started. Har du lagt på dig det siste? Have you gained weight recently? Har du lagt på dig det siste? Have you gained weight recently? Well, this one should be pretty obvious. We actually have a song about this topic in Norwegian. You should check it out. It goes like this. Nei, så sjukt du har blitt. Nå har du pina deg lagt på deg litt. Har du det bra? Hvordan står det til? Det var lenge siden sist. Um, this song is by Ole Ivars, so please check them out for some fun Norwegian songs. Du har et grått hår. You have a grey hair. Du har et grått hår. You have a grey hair. Yeah, you know, when people start getting closer to their 30s, then there might be some grey hairs. It's a hard topic to talk about. Det var det jeg sa. I told you so. Det var det jeg sa. I told you so. Yeah, this reminds me of my childhood, like playing around and arguing with my brother. It's like, det var det jeg sa. Du har sparken. You're fired. Du har sparken. You're fired. Luckily, this is something I haven't experienced yet, but that's definitely something I wouldn't want to hear. Det er ikke deg, det er meg. It's not you, it's me. Det er ikke deg, det er meg. It is not you, it's me. I think this sentence is a little bit of a cliche, perhaps. But truth to be told, you know, nowadays, uh, some people even break up through SMS, so who knows? Takk for CV-en, men stillingen er blitt fylt. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. Takk for CV-en, men stillingen har blitt fylt. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has already been filled. Yeah, these days it's getting really hard to find jobs in Norway. So you have to practice hard with your Norwegian in order to not hear this phrase when you apply for jobs. Vi burde treffe andre. We should see other people. Vi burde treffe andre. We should see other people. No, don't say that. No, just one more chance. Come on. Jeg har ikke pengene dine i dag. I don't have your money today. Jeg har ikke pengene dine i dag. I don't have your money today. Yeah, this is also a good example uh, for how to lose your friends. You should pay back your money, you know. Unnskyld, jeg glemte det. Sorry, I forgot. Unnskyld, jeg glemte det. Sorry, I forgot. Well, you know, when you learn a new language, you're gonna keep forgetting a lot of stuff. It's just too much to think about at the same time. Dette er ikke bra nok. This is not good enough. Dette er ikke bra nok. This is not good enough. But come on, we've done this video shooting 10 times already. It must be good enough now, right? Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let us know in the comment section below what kind of words you don't like to hear. Also, please go to NorwegianClass101.com for more lessons. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, so fat you've become. I think you've probably gained some weight. How are you doing? Um, it's been a long time no see. Hey, all sammen. Jeg er Nora. Valentinsdagen er både elsket og hatet blant nordmenn. Valentinsdagen er ingen høytid i Norge, men det er allikevel noen som markerer denne dagen. I denne timen kommer de til å lære om hva nordmenn gjør på Valentinsdagen. Hvor stor andel av Norges mannlige befolkning tror du vet når Valentinsdagen er? Vi vil vise svaret på slutten av denne videoen. Valentinsdagen kan også bli kalt Alle hjerters dag på norsk. Valentinsdagen markeres den 14. februar 
og er en dag man skal feire kjærlighet og romantik. Opprinnelig var Valentinsdagen en minnedag for helgen med navnet Valentin, og i middelalderen oppstod det en historie om martyren som het Valentin. En myte sier at Valentin skrev et kjærlighetsbrev før han ble henrettet og undertegnet det fra din Valentin. Det er ingen stor utbredelse når det kommer til Valentinsdagen i Norge. Likevel har dagen blitt promotert de siste årene, og populariteten har økt. Det er nå vanlig blant unge par å markere denne dagen. Det vanligste er at jenta får en blomsebukett, og paret så spiser god middag sammen eller går på en date. De aller fleste parforholder synes det er koselig å gi og få litt ekstra oppmerksomhet. Og Valentinsdagen er en fin mulighet til dette. De som ikke er i et forhold, samles ofte med andre singlige venner og går ut sammen. Enten feirer de dagen med hat over de som har en kjæreste, eller i glede over å få tilbringe dagen i godt selskap med vennene sine. Det er flere barer og klubber som har eventer rettet for single, så dette er et populært møtested for de som ikke er i et forhold. På Valentinsdagen i Norge øker blomsebutikker prisen på roser. Det er ikke uvanlig at en rose koster dobbelt så mye enn det den vanligvis ville gjort. Dette er fordi hele landet skal ha roser denne dagen. Og nå skal jeg gi deg svaret på en tidligere spørrekonkurransen. Hvor stor andel av Norges mannlige befolkning tror du vet når Valentinsdagen er? I en undersøkelse fra 2004 svarte hele 70 prosent av den mannlige befolkningen at de ikke visste når Valentinsdagen var. Dette er heldigvis en litt gammel undersøkelse, så nå vet nok litt flere hvilken dato Valentinsdagen er på. Hva synes du om dette kurset? Var det spennende? Hva pleier du å gjøre på Valentinsdagen? Legg igjen en kommentar på NorwegianClass101.com på gjensyn. Hello everybody and welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're looking at 10 Norwegian foods. Yummy! Let's get started. Brødskive. Open-faced sandwich. Slice of bread with various spreads, lunch meats and vegetables on it. Brødskive. Open-faced sandwich. Slice of bread with various spreads, lunch meat and vegetables on it. Om du er sulten nå, så kan du ta deg en brødskive. If you are hungry now, you can grab an open-faced sandwich. Brødskive is very popular in Norway. Some people have it for breakfast and for lunch. Maybe not for supper, but we do have something called kveldsmat, which we eat right before going to bed. And guess what? It's also brødskive as the main ingredients. Brunost Brown cheese. Brunost. Brown cheese. Brunost er en typisk norsk ost. Brown cheese is a typical Norwegian cheese. Brown cheese is really popular in Norway and it's also a very good souvenir to bring to friends because it doesn't really taste like cheese, it tastes more like caramel in a sense. So it's actually very good to put on, for instance, waffles. It's delicious, and you should try it. Carbonade. Meat patty. Round flattened serving of meat. Carbonade. Meat patty. Round flattened serving of meat. I dag skal vi ha carbonade til middag. Today we are having meat patties for dinner. Kjøttbolle. Meatball. Kjøttbolle. Meatball. Kjøttbollene på IKEA er gode og billige. The meatballs at IKEA are tasty and cheap. We also have something called kjøttkake, which is a slightly different shape. And if you analyze the words, it actually means meat cake. Kjøttkake. Uh, doesn't really sound that good, but it's just basically the same as kjøttbolle. Lutefisk. 
aged stockfish or dried salted whitefish and has a gelatinous texture. Lutefisk, aged stockfish or dried salted whitefish and has a gelatinous texture. I vår familie er det vanlig å spise lutefisk rundt juletider. In our family, it's common to eat lutefisk during Christmas time. I think most people either really like lutefisk or they hate it. I personally, I'm not a big fan of lutefisk, but I think you should try it and let us know what you think. Rømmegrøt. Porridge made from sour cream, whole milk, wheat flour, butter and salt. Rømmegrøt. Rømmegrøt. Porridge made from sour cream, whole milk, wheat flour, butter and salt. Jeg pleier å ha smør, kanel og sukker på min rømmegrøt. I usually have butter, cinnamon and sugar on my sour cream porridge. Rømmegrøt or grøt in general is something that Norwegians love. You can make your own porridge just by having wheat and milk as well. Smalehove. Sheep head dish originally eaten before Christmas. Smalahove. Sheep head dish originally eaten before Christmas. Smalahove blir ofte spist på Vestlandet. Smalahove is often eaten on the west coast. To be honest, smalahove is not a very common dish anymore. Uh, I personally never tried it. Uh, you could try to Google it, but I warn you, there might be some images that you don't want to see. Uh, actually, there's a couple of restaurants in Norway where you can eat smalahove, and if you eat uh, smalahove there, you get a diploma. That's how hardcore it is. Spekemat. Assortment of dried meats with flatbread. Spekemat. Assortment of dried meats and flatbread. Spekemat er et resultat av at folk måtte finne måter å konservere kjøtt på i gamle dager. Dried meat is the result of people having to find ways to conserve meat in the old days. Tørrfisk. Dried fish. Tørrfisk. Dried fish. Tørrfisk fra Lofoten er veldig kjent. Dried fish from Lofoten is well known. In general, they have a lot of delicious fish up north. So if you like fish, this is the place to go. Maybe you're lucky you'll see, see the northern lights too. Fårikål. Mutton with bone and cabbage stew. Fårikål. Mutton with bone and cabbage stew. Fårikål er kjent som en av de mest typiske norske rettene. Fårikål is known as one of the most typical Norwegian dishes. Fårikål is a very common Norwegian dish. If you're lucky, maybe your Norwegian friends can make you some fårikål. Okay, everybody, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. And please let us know below if you have tried any Norwegian foods and what you think of them in the comment section below. Also, go to NorwegianClass101.com for more information and don't forget to like and subscribe. Det var alt for i dag. Vi ses igjen. Ha det bra. Goodbye. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Jeg vil gjerne foreta et uttak. Jeg vil gjerne foreta et uttak. I'd like to make a deposit. Jeg vil gjerne gjøre et innskudd. Jeg vil gjerne gjøre et innskudd. Sign here, please. Signer her, takk. Signer her, takk. Go back. Gå tilbake. Gå tilbake. Are there any annual charges with this account? Er det årlige kostnader i forbindelse med denne kontoen? Er det årlige kostnader i forbindelse med denne kontoen?
I'd like to open an account. Jag vill gärna öppna en konto. Jag vill gärna öppna en konto. Can I have a receipt, please? Kan jag få en kvittering, tack? Kan jag få en kvittering, tack? Can I have a bag, please? Kan jag få en bag, tack? Kan jag få en bag, tack? I'll take one of this. Jag tar en av denna. Jag tar en av denna. What's this? Vad är detta? Vad är detta? Do you have any identification? Har du identifikation? Har du identifikation? This weekend I'm going to the movies. Denna helgen ska jag på kino. Denna helgen ska jag på kino. What are you doing this weekend? Vad gör dere denna helgen? Vad gör dere denna helgen? I'll have time next week. Jag har tid nästa vecka. Jag har tid nästa vecka. I'm busy this week. Jag öppnat den uken. Jag öppnat den uken. It's only Tuesday. Det är bara tisdag. Det är bara tisdag. Today is Wednesday. Idag är det onsdag. Idag är det onsdag. Monday is the worst day of the week. Måndag är den värsta dagen i uken. Måndag är den värsta dagen i uken. It's already Sunday. Det är allerede söndag. Det är allerede söndag. The day after tomorrow is Friday. Dagen efter imorgon är fredag. Dagen efter imorgon är fredag. What day is it today? Vilken dag är det idag? Vilken dag är det idag? It ends in 30 minutes. Det slutar om 30 minuter. Det slutar om 30 minuter. The flight will arrive at 8:45 p.m. Flyget vill landa klockan 20:45. Flyge vil lande klokken 20.45. It looks like it will take about 30 more minutes to get there. Det ser ut som det vil ta cirka 30 minutter å komme dit. Det ser ut som det vil ta cirka 30 minutter å komme dit. We'll arrive 30 minutes early. Vi kommer nok 30 minutter for tidlig. Vi kommer nok 30 minutter for tidlig. He is leaving now. Han går nå. Han går nå. Let's leave in 20 minutes. La oss gå om 20 minutter. La oss gå om 20 minutter. Can we leave around 6? Kan vi gå rundt 6? Kan vi gå runt sex? Be here before noon. Var här för middag. Var här för middag. It's almost dusk. Det är nästan skumring. Det är nästan skumring. It's midnight. Det är midnatt. Det är midnatt. It's noon. Det är middagstid. Det är middagstid. It's three o'clock. 
Klokken er tre. Klokken er tre. What is a good time for you? Når passer for dig? Når passer for dig? I have no money. Jeg har ingen penger. Jeg har ingen penger. Leave me alone. La meg være i fred. La meg være i fred. I want to go here. Jeg vil dra hit. Jeg vil dra hit. I'm looking for this place. Jeg leter etter dette stedet. Jeg leter etter dette stedet. What did they look like? Hvordan så de ut? Hvordan så de ut? She was wearing a red shirt and jeans. Hun hadde på seg en rød skjorte og jeans. Hun hadde på seg en rød skjorte og jeans. This area is dangerous. Dette området er farlig. Dette området er farlig. It's across the street from a library. Det er tvers over gaten fra et bibliotek. Det er tvers over gaten fra et bibliotek. Do you speak English? Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Can I make a call? Kan jeg ringe? Kan jeg ringe? How can we fix this? Hvordan kan vi fikse dette? Hvordan kan vi fikse dette? There's been a misunderstanding. Det har vært en misforståelse. Det har vært en misforståelse. It wasn't me. Det var ikke meg. Det var ikke meg. Where are you? Hvor er du? Hvor er du? There was a car accident. Det var en bilulykke. Det var en bilulykke. They took my phone. De tok telefonen min. De tok telefonen min. It was in my bag. Den var i baggen min. Den var i baggen min. She lost her key. Hun mistet nøkkelen. Hun mistet nøkkelen. Here is my contact number. Her er mitt kontaktnummer. Her er mitt kontaktnummer. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. Don't worry. Ikke bekymre deg. Ikke bekymre deg. It's okay. Det er greit. Det er greit. Please? Vær så snill. Vær så snill. Please forgive me. Venligst tilgi meg. Venligst tilgi meg. I really appreciate it. Jeg setter veldig pris på det. Jeg setter veldig pris på det. Thank you. Takk. Takk.
You're welcome. Pashago. Pashago. Make yourself at home. Gör dig själv komfortabel. Gör dig själv komfortabel. Hello. Hallo. Hallo. Good morning. God morgon. God morgon. Goodbye. Farvel. Farvel. Long time no see. Länge sin sist. Länge sin sist. Good evening. God kväll. God kväll. Sorry to keep you waiting. Beklage forsinkelsen. Beklage forsinkelsen. Wait a moment. Vänligst vänt ett ögonblick. Vänligst vänt ett ögonblick. Hello? Hallo? Hallo? Awesome. Kämpebra. Kämpebra. Delicious. Daily. Daily. I like it. Jag liker det. Jag liker det. I don't like it. Jag liker det inte. Jag liker det inte. How are you? Hur då går det med dig? Hur då går det med dig? Really? Är det sant? Är det sant? Help. Hjälp. Hjälp. Once again, please. En gång till, var så snäll. En gång till, var så snäll. It's difficult. Det är vanskligt. Det är vanskligt. I don't understand. Jag förstår inte. Jag förstår inte. Slower, please. Saktare, var så snäll. Saktare, var så snäll. I'm good. Det går bra. Det går bra. This is for you. Detta är till dig. Detta är till dig. How have you been? Hurdan har du haft det? Hurdan har du haft det? Nice to meet you. Hyggligt att möta dig. Hyggligt att möta dig. What is it? Vad är det? Vad är det? Where are you from? Var är du från? Var är du från? How old are you? Var gammal är du? Var gammal är du? What's your phone number? Var telefonnummer ditt? Var telefonnummer ditt? What time is it? Var mig är klocka? Var mig är klocka? Ready to start? Klar till att börja? Klar till att börja? Can you come back later? Kan du komma tillbaka senare? Kan du komma tillbaka senare? Sorry, we're completely booked. Beklager, vi är helt bok. 
takket. Beklager, vi er helt bukket. We'll give you a call. Vi ringer deg. Vi ringer deg. I'll leave it up to you. Jeg lar det være opp til deg. Jeg lar det være opp til deg. Is the water too cold? Er vannet for kaldt? Er vannet for kaldt? Is this your first time with us? Er dette din første gang med oss? Er dette din første gang med oss? It takes three to five business days. Det tar tre til fem virkedager. Det tar tre til fem virkedager. Could I have a statement, please? Kan jeg få en uttalelse, takk? Kan jeg få en uttalelse, takk? I'd like to exchange money. Jeg vil gjerne veksle penger. Jeg vil gjerne veksle penger. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. Don't worry. Ikke bekymre deg. Ikke bekymre deg. It's okay. Det er greit. Det er greit. Please? Vær så snill. Vær så snill. Please forgive me. Venligst tilgi meg. Venligst tilgi meg. I really appreciate it. Jeg setter veldig pris på det. Jeg setter veldig pris på det. Thank you. Takk. Takk. You're welcome. Vær så god. Vær så god. Make yourself at home. Gjør deg selv komfortabel. Gjør deg selv komfortabel. Hello. Hallo. Hallo. Good morning. God morgen. God morgen. Goodbye. Farvel. Farvel. Long time no see. Lenge siden sist. Lenge siden sist. Good evening. God kveld. God kveld. Sorry to keep you waiting. Beklage forsinkelsen. Beklage forsinkelsen. Wait a moment. Vennligst vent et øyeblikk. Vennligst vent et øyeblikk. Hallo? 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 Awesome. Kjempebra. Kjempebra. Delicious. Deilig. Deilig. I like it. Jeg liker det. Jeg liker det. I don't like it. Jeg liker det ikke. Jeg liker det ikke. How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? Hvordan går det med deg? Really? Er det sant? 
Är det sant? Help. Hjälp. Hjälp. Once again, please. En gång till, var så snäll. En gång till, var så snäll. It's difficult. Det är vanskligt. Det är vanskligt. I don't understand. Jag förstår inte. Jag förstår inte. Slower, please. Saktare, var så snäll. Saktare, var så snäll. I'm good. Det går bra. Det går bra. This is for you. Detta är till dig. Detta är till dig. How have you been? Hur har du haft det? Hur har du haft det? Nice to meet you. Hyggligt att möta dig. Hyggligt att möta dig. What is it? Vad är det? Vad är det? Where are you from? Var är du från? Var är du från? How old are you? Var gammal är du? Var gammal är du? What's your phone number? Vad är telefonnumret ditt? Vad är telefonnumret ditt? What time is it? Var mycket är klockan? Var mycket är klockan? Ready to start? Klar till att börja? Klar till att börja? Can you come back later? Kan du komma tillbaka senare? Kan du komma tillbaka senare? Sorry, we're completely booked. Beklager, vi är helt bokat. Beklager, vi är helt bokat. We'll give you a call. Vi ringer dig. Vi ringer dig. I'll leave it up to you. Jag lär det vara upp till dig. Jag lär det vara upp till dig. Is the water too cold? Är vattnet för kallt? Är vattnet för kallt? Is this your first time with us? Är detta din första gång med oss? Är detta din första gång med oss? It takes three to five business days. Det tar tre till fem virkedagar. Det tar tre till fem virkedagar. Could I have a statement, please? Kan jag få en uttalelse, tack? Kan jag få en uttalelse, tack? I'd like to exchange money. Jag vill gärna växla pengar. Jag vill gärna växla pengar. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.